parts you can see with features you can't see. Work at the mesoscale involves components that tend to be one to three millimeters in size, but with micron level dimensions. These tiny parts improve many devices, from airbags to digital projectors. But inspecting them is time consuming and difficult due to a lack of appropriate measuring tools. Now, Sandia researchers have developed a better way to support small parts. Let's see, I think I want this one. Yeah, get a corner. Metrology, the science of measurement, revolves around what you can touch and see. To ensure the quality of small parts, inspection involves high-precision touch-based coordinate measuring machines, or CMMs, and less precise optical systems. Currently, Optical machines are calibrated with artifacts that have serious resolution limitations. So this is a chrome on glass calibration artifact. Um, this is fabricated using uh, a two-dimensional technique. Um, printing. Essentially printing. Uh, this, the, your ability to certify this uh, limits the accuracy of the vision inspection system. The problem is that the uh, commercial equipment that is currently used to measure using vision equipment typically has an accuracy on the order of one micron or so, but the actual resolution and repeatability is 10 times better than that. And as things get smaller, more precise, you would like to be able to capture that, in, that better resolution in terms of the actual accuracy. Sandia's artifact design was inspired by macro-scale calibration techniques, where step bars contain measurement planes at well-defined intervals. At the mesoscale, the team used bulk silicon micro-machining, or etching, to fabricate a structure with geometrical features, such as sharp edges, that can be accurately measured with a touch system. Once the artifact's geometry is certified with a high-accuracy CMM, it can be re-evaluated on a vision machine. This allows a more accurate calibration of the optical system, which leads to better measurements of components. Um, these are made by silicon bulk micromachining, where you can pattern in two dimensions um, uh, some geometry, and then put it in an etchant. And the etchant is very selective. It wants to etch along certain crystal planes to make these, these particular geometries. So, uh, when we define the two-dimensional pattern, we can create a three-dimensional structure. You have two planes. One's a, a sloped plane and one's the top surface plane. And these are defined by the crystal structure in the silicon. And they're intrinsic, so they don't change and they're the same on every wafer. And the angle between these two planes doesn't change. Um, so what we do is we touch with the CMM on the side and we touch with the CMM on the top and we intersect those two planes and find the edge the same edge is visible very clearly under a vision system. Because when you look down from the top, the, ref the light reflects back, and the slope surface, the light reflects right off of it. So it doesn't get seen by the optical system. So that's how we go from the mechanical touch system to finding the edge to the optical system locating the edge. When the uh, user uses our calibration artifact rather than the uh, other calibration artifact, we will then be able to certify the accuracy of this machine to 0.2 microns, a tenfold improvement in the accuracy just by using this rather than by purchasing a completely new system. These images represent the improved accuracy of Sandia's 3D artifact over existing two-dimensional vision systems. Combined with the relatively low cost of production, there's great potential for this novel design. We have a lot of interest. Every time when we present it, people say, oh, well, I'd like to buy one. Can you give me one? Well, unfortunately, we can't yet. We're still seeking industrial partners. Um, but there's a lot of interest. They, they realize that, oh, you have, you have the tactile, and tactile method of certification, and, the, and you can then certify a visual instrument. And hey, it's, even if you know, I have already had this piece of equipment, I can get 10 times the accuracy for free, or virtually free now.